Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first episode of The Pit Papa, a channel all about outdoor cooking for your family. Today's episode is all about flash steaks. I am using a thin sliced bottom round of beef. Now, I was able to get this prepackaged, but you could take a bottom round roast up to the butcher at your grocery store and have them slice it thin for you. There are three ingredients that are going into this recipe beyond the protein, Arctic thyme, sea salt, California granulated garlic, and kosher salt. Now I'm doing this out on my Oklahoma Joe's three in one grill. I'm doing it on the gas side. Never wanna store your grill with the gas on. Be sure and always turn it off. Open it up to get it ignited here. So I'm going to crank this up to the ignite setting and fire it up. And then I tweak it down to just a little bit beyond high and we're gonna close it up and let the heat fill up, make those grates nice and hot for us so we can get a good sear. Um, in my case, I know that my thermometer is a little bit off, so we're going to let this go up to around the danger zone. I let mine preheat for about seven to 10 minutes. So now it's time for some prep. First things first, uh, if you like what you see after this, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to the video and the channel. It would really help us out as we get rolling but you're gonna take your thin sliced bottom round and you're gonna lay it out on a rack. This is gonna serve two purposes. First, it's going to let us season very evenly um, because they'll be all spread out and there will be no overlap. But in addition, there's my son sneaking in for a quick cameo. But in addition, it's going to let any excess moisture that may have been trapped in the package drip off before we get out on the grill. So that's why we're laying these out on a rack. Now, I'm actually doing two batches because this was for us an experimental recipe. I am doing a batch with uh, no seasoning. That's these bad boys right here. Uh, but we're also going to do a batch with kosher salt. So here I am laying them out in rapid succession thanks to the magic of editing. And these are the ones we're gonna season with culture, uh, kosher salt quite liberally on both sides. So kosher salt stored in a nice bowl and we're going to get everything laid out onto uh, the meat. So evenly, uh, liberally seasoning one side. Now we're gonna do a flip on these bad boys and season up the other side as well. And then we're gonna head out onto the grill. Now, this looks like a lot of meat, but that's because of um, my personal philosophy as the Pit Papa. When I bring out uh, meat and I'm going to fire up my grill, be it the charcoal end, the gas grill, whether I fire up one of my smokers, uh, if I'm going to be using fuel, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm getting the most out of it. And so we're actually going to use some of this meat today, and then we will use quite a bit of it for meals later in the week. So open up the grill and set up, and we're just going to apply these directly to the grate. Now... Looking back in retrospect to do my voiceover, I would actually brush all of these with olive oil before I season them. Uh, just a little light coating of olive oil before seasoning them. And you'll see why in just a moment. As I go to start flipping these, this is about 90 seconds to two minutes later. These are really thin, so they're gonna cook really fast. They are sticking really badly to the grill and that makes flipping them incredibly difficult. So if I just lightly lubed them up a little bit, I could have way more easily flipped these. They would have come off nice and clean. They would have still had those good sear marks and everything. So right here, 90 seconds on the grill, flip them over, grill is nice and hot and these are really thin so they're gonna cook up really well. These are uh, the salted steaks that we did first. Um, and then the unsalted steaks will come later uh, in terms of getting grilled, but get them all flipped, get them nice and arranged and you're going to let them go. So as I was mentioning earlier, thin sliced bottom round, um, you may not find it at your butcher, uh, at least out already prepackaged, but you can just grab a bottom round roast and take it up to the butcher counter. That's why they're there and they're usually happy to do it for you and ask them to slice it, uh, thin. These are, I believe, about a quarter of an inch thin, maybe half an inch thin, and you can get it all sliced. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure these are a quarter of an inch. Now, once these have been on for 90 seconds, maybe two minutes, depending on how done you are, want them on both sides, you can 
pull them off and put them on a clean plate. I would not return them to the grate that you seasoned them on and let them get all cooked up and then we'll take them in to serve. Uh, here at Pit Papa, we, I am an outdoor cooking enthusiast. If I can cook outdoors, it's definitely my preference to do so. And so going forward, uh, these are the kind of videos we're gonna do. We're gonna try and do one big cook a week. Uh, this was just an intro video, so it's not the largest cook, but all right, in we go. And this is our taste test. This was a new recipe for us. This was the first time we tried it. So I'm gonna season it with granulated garlic, which I did mention in the ingredients, as well as Saltverk's Arctic Time Salt, which is just, I got it for Christmas and I love it. It's so good. But you're gonna season up with the granulated garlic. Now you may be asking why we don't do granulated garlic before the grill. And that's because of the super high temperature that we're cooking it will burn and it will get really bitter and you want that savory garlic taste you don't want a ton of bitterness so there it is the nice seasoned with the arctic time finishing salt um, which goes really great with the beef flavor as well as the garlic and so get it nice and cut up see about three minutes total and we have a beautiful medium on that and speaking of someone who ate it it was incredibly tasty and of course, I need a bite for my wonderful wife, who is the camera woman for this particular episode. And here it is. Uh, I did mention earlier that we are not eating all of this now, but this was just for presentation videos, uh, presentation purposes for the video. And we served it personally with apple slices and peas. There's a nice finished plate. Here we go. Once again, Arctic Time Salt going to season the new piece of beef and also the peas and then a little bit more granulated garlic will come in uh, to season again both meat and peas because i really like it that's if you put it on your peas or whatever totally up to you obviously um but get it all seasoned up to enjoy and there it is everybody flash steaks with the pit papa thanks so much for watching please be sure to like share and subscribe and we'll see you next week for our next book cook.